the chicken and dumplings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have one yellow onion here, sliced up very thin. I have two carrots, which I have peeled, which I'm also gonna slice very thin, and those are gonna get sauteed in our cast iron pan on the grill. So I'm gonna put in about four ounces of butter. It's a nice southern meal, so we're gonna start with a good amount of butter. Butter is melted, onions are gonna go in, and then we're gonna put a pinch of salt on top of those onions because it's gonna bring out the natural sweetness of the onions as they release their liquid into that butter and the caramelization and breaking down starts. So these gotta stir. All right, in goes our carrots. And as I give it another stir, now I'm gonna put it back over that hotter part of the grill so these could really start breaking down. With a, a firmer herb like the thyme, you would add it in the beginning. So now we're gonna add four ounces of flour, and that's our roux. And then the roux is gonna thicken the stock so we get this wonderful creamy consistency underneath our biscuit. And then we start stirring in our stock. This is gonna simmer for a little bit. So I am gonna pull these two roasted chickens. Is Liz is getting these biscuits mixed. You're gonna put one and a quarter cup flour. So then to the flour, we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. So we're just gonna whisk that together. I'm gonna okay. add my cheese. <laughs> so I've got three quarter cup, very, very cold, heavy cream. So this is the jalapeno butter with a little bit of lime. And we're just gonna pour this into our very cold cream. But when you take the melted butter and pour it over the cold cream, the butter beads up on its own, so it just saves you a couple steps. Well, it almost turns into like a buttermilk consistency, which biscuits and buttermilk are best friends. Two roasted chickens, which I pulled the meat off of. I'm gonna put a couple cups of peas in. You could use fresh or frozen peas. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is, well, you were biscuiting. I went and I picked a little bit of flat leaf parsley. Nice, all right. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of go around the pan, almost like a drop biscuit on top. I could never see your mother using an ice cream scoop in a situation no. like this. All right, so we're gonna move this off the fire. So that way when we close the grill, it's gonna turn to an oven. It's gonna go at about 350 to 375 degrees to those biscuits are cooked. Master of the biscuit, I master do of the biscuit. Make a darn good biscuit. You do make a darn good say. biscuit. Oh yes, my please. lord. Holy moly. Wow, it smells amazing.